what is REM sleep and why is it so special? Maybe we can comment on that, rapid eye movement sleep. Yeah, discovered in the 50s at the University of Chicago, it's intense brain activity, high levels of metabolic activity, dreams in which people report a lot of the theory of mind. We were talking about uh, Simon Baron Cohen. Theory of mind is was actually something that he developed for the diagnosis of aut autism. If you take kids, most kids of age five, six, seven, you put them in front of a TV screen in, in a laboratory and you have them watch a video where a kid is playing with a ball or a doll, and then the kid puts it into a drawer, shuts the drawer and walks away. And another kid comes in and you ask the child who's observing this little movie, you say, uh, what does this second child think? And they, a typical kid would say, uh, they wanna play and they don't know where the ball or doll is, or they, they, they're upset or they're sad, they want the doll. Autistic children tend to say, the doll's in the drawer, mm -hmm. the, the, the toy's in the drawer. They tend to fixate they can't get in on the event. They can't get into the mind of that. They don't have a theory of mind. Dreams in REM have a heavy theory of mind component. People are after me trying to get me. You can assign motive to other people. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid, but it's because there's an expectation. That doesn't tend to happen in slow wave sleep dreams. Now, all this, of course, is by waking people up and asking them what they were dreaming about, which from a standpoint of a AI guy or yeah. a machine learning guy or a neuroscientist kind of like, eh, but it's the best we've got. Yes. But brain imaging in waking states while people view a movie and then brain imaging while people are sleeping supports the idea that that's basically what's going on. So REM sleep is amazing and you're not gonna get much of it during your bout with uh, so, Goggins, but you will afterward. Why, so to, to, to comment, why won't I, so is, is it not possible to get into it real quick? only if you're very, very sleep deprived, but because you're going to be at high muscular output, that's going to bias you towards more slow wave sleep overall. And your body and brain are smart. They, it will know, they will know that your main goal is to recover so you can keep going. So you can keep firing neuromuscular contractions and you can keep running.